You're just in time for Sanctuary of Reality, my comic review series. Today we look at issue 12 of Cerebus, titled Bedouin by Night. Cerebus begins the tale down in the dumps. With Cockroach in jail, he believes he's lost his chance to get the hidden layer of gold. But upon hearing that the authorities haven't discovered it yet, Cerebus heads back to Bedouin by boat and breaks back into the merchant's hidden vault. There he discovers the gold is gone. Oh wait, there's a tunnel at the end and it leads to another area where the cockroach himself, having broken out of prison, is hiding in his cockroach cave filled with golden coins. Cerebus plays upon the roach's fragile state of mind by claiming to be an orphan, and a fellow orphan takes him under his wing. Cerebus makes up a claim that Elrod is coming to steal the gold, tricking Cockroach into moving most of the gold by boat. The pair begin to escape the city together when guess who pops up? Yeah, that's right, Elrod himself appears. Can Cerebus survive the irritation of both the bug and the buffoon? Will he get out of Bedouin with his boat full of booty? The Cockroach, Elrod the Albino. Two great comedic flavors, all in one issue. It shouldn't work as well as it does, but it's a great moment when the characters collide. They'll both be back together again in issue 21. This is another fun issue that really drives home another recurring aspect of the book, namely that Cerebus never quite gets what he wants, or at least he never gets to keep it when he does get it for very long. He's a bit of a sad sack in that regard, and I think that makes him likable. But of course he's trying to get something for nothing, which is why things fall apart. But I for one happen to like him best when things aren't going his way, or things are going his way and they tend to fall apart around him. Next time, Cerebus versus Necros, ha <laughs> ha, the mad.